Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in a series that aims to assist you with using and understanding the Velux plugin for ARCHICAD. In this episode, you'll learn to control the visual representation of Velux products using different LODs available in the Model View options. LOD, or Level of Detail, determines how the product geometry is shown in ARCHICAD. This representation of geometry has been distilled down into four distinct LOD categories. LOD 100 – Conceptual Geometry LOD 200 – Approximate Geometry LOD 250 – Precise Geometry LOD 300 – Precise Geometry and Opening Higher LOD entails higher levels of graphical detail. In ARCHICAD, model view options can be used to adjust what we see in different views. To access the model view options, go to Document, Model View and select Model View Options. Here we have a Velux drop-down menu which allows the user to change the LOD for all Velux products in the model. The top row is for roof windows and the bottom row is for facade windows. The roof windows need a roof as a host while the facade windows require a wall as a host. The first column contains options for plan views. The next is for 3D views, then sections and elevations. Normally, we would like a lower LOD for plan views as it is easier to navigate and use hotspots for snapping where there aren't too many model lines. In contrast, higher LOD is often preferable for 3D views and section views as it allows us to evaluate every detail in the model and see how different components connect. We can also select a market which will filter products after the selected market. Per default, the market is set to international, which means that all Velux products will be available in the library. Choosing a specific market will instead filter out products not available to the chosen market. Let's look at a plan view. With LOD 300, it can be difficult to place and move the window since there are many model lines to account for. If we instead choose LOD 200, then we are left with the outlines of the roof windows and it is much easier to grab the hotspots and snap the window in place. Now for the 3D view. LOD 300 makes the roof window appear very realistic with the frame, flashing, cover, cladding and lining. However, with LOD 200, we only see the contours of the window. This is similar for the section views. LOD 200 shows limited geometry, while LOD 300 shows many great details that are important for understanding the window's connection to the roof. In the newer versions of ARCHICAD, there can in some cases be issues with cut surfaces being displayed incorrectly. To fix this, go to the Window Settings dialog, open the tab Floor Plan and Sections, and remove the tick in Override Objects Attributes. Now it looks correct with the right fills and hatches. By adjusting the LOD in Model View options, we adjust the visual representation of all Velux products in all views in the ARCHICAD project. However, it is also possible to override the LOD for any specific windows. This can be done through Velux Product Configurator. Here, there is a tab called Representation where you can personalize how objects are shown. In the top, we have a local override of Model View options and by changing the LOD here, we only affect the selected windows. This concludes our tutorial on controlling LOD with model view options. 
The next tutorial in this series will be on rough configurations of sloped roof windows. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Velux Building Simulation Tools, for more tutorials and updates.